Hey everybody, welcome back to My Wings of Refuge. I'm so excited today because we finally have a little break in the rain, just a little bit. The sun's trying to come out. It's been so gloomy and rainy and we can't decide if it's going to be cold or hot. And uh, But one of the things I like to do in the winter time when there's not much grass or much green for my chickens is I like to make sprouts. And so that is just one way they love uh, to get these for treats. Um, it's got a little green to it, plus it's got more nutrients in the sprouts than it does if you were to give them just like the cooked beans. I like mung beans. I keep them in a little canister here. They're teeny beans. But I like to do the mung beans. They're really cheap. I can get them organic at my local health food store. And you know what? We can eat these too in our salads. And so it is really simple. And so we're gonna walk through that process because all it takes is one to three tablespoons. I've done each one. It almost doesn't matter, but this is what three tablespoons looks like by day five. It is so full. It is like bursting at the seams and ready to be fed. And so I keep all my jars here on top of the microwave. Um, and so you can see this is day five. Four, three, two, and this is the one I started actually this morning. Um, and so this morning, all I did is I put in two tablespoons of my mung beans and I just put in some water and let them sit for about 24 hours. And so either tonight or in the morning before I go uh, uh, in the morning, all I'll do is just I'll pour them out of uh, the water right through this little grate and just let them sit. Just, just let them sit every morning, every evening. I rinse them out with water and that's really all it takes y'all it's so simple and your chickens will thank you let's see what the chickens think So here's what we need to get started. I got this from the uh, local uh, Walmart. They would have this at any art supply store. It's kind of a plasticky stuff, but it's about this, it's real flimsy, uh, but it's got tiny holes in it. And so all I did is measure my lid here from my canning jar and then cut out the circle. That goes right into the lid of your canning jar, just like that. Then all you have to do is put in a couple of tablespoons. If you want your jar really, really packed, you can add a little bit more, doesn't really matter. And then just pour in some water doesn't matter how much, you just want to make sure that they're well covered. Screw on your little lid. And you just wait. In five days, it will be full. But you want to make sure that you are emptying this at about twice a day that you just rinse. You're constantly rinsing. Uh, and you want to watch for mold. You do not want to feed your chickens anything with mold ever. Uh, remember, when you're feeding your chickens, if it's something that you would not eat, they don't need to eat it. And so, uh, if it's got mold in it, you're not going to eat it. And so, they don't need it either. And so, um, then all we have to do after about 12 hours, you pour this water out. Give it a good shake. That's it. You do. You let it sit. Normally, I would rinse each one of my jars just like this.
Is that yummy? Come on, you want a bite? Thank you for watching today on My Wings of Refuge. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And if you would, please subscribe. And I'll see you next week. And you'll see what on earth we have in store for then. Until then, have a great week, y'all.